And welcome back to The Talk. Notorious former footballer Joey Barton is tonight refusing to back down over incendiary comments aimed at female football pundits. The former Manchester City man shared a series of misogynistic posts on social media this week, claiming that, quotes, women shouldn't be talking with any kind of authority in the men's game. On Wednesday, he tweeted, or X'd, any man who listens to women commentary or co-commentators needs their heads testing. Stick to your own game, hashtag. <laughs> the string of posts prompted a furious backlash, unsurprisingly, resulting in an explosive clash with Talk TV's Piers Morgan. As I say, you, you have to be there on merit. Like, you can't, you can't be there to, to fit this woke agenda that we've currently got going on in society. Um, you know, there's, you don't have to have played the game. You know, lots of managers haven't played the game at a, at a high level. Lots of good commentary people haven't played the game at a high, high level. Kind of Mark Chapman, Rory Smiths of this world. Um, but they've earned the right via, you know, hard work and uh, over a prolonged period to get into that space. Barton, who previously served 74 days behind bars for common assault, has continued his ranting even today, shamelessly goading presenters Laura Woods and Bianca Westwood to fight him on his sexist views. And I've got a bit of a skin in the game in this one because um, I ran an agency of broadcasters and we hired people who were good enough, whether they were women or men or whatever uh, ethnic background they were from, and uh, it was a, a bit of a, a learning curve for some of our uh, radio stations out there who couldn't get their uh, names, couldn't get their heads around some of the foreign names. So we shame, shamefully had to sort of change some of the names to make it easier for them not to trip over. Oh, wow. Uh, but, but seriously, some of these uh, female uh, reporters that we took on have gone on to great careers. And now, uh, after a period of time where there has been a bit of progressive pushing of... Uh, females into uh, football, and some of them haven't quite made the grade. There are some very, very good presenters. So now we're at the stage of meritocracy. I think Joe is wrong, mm -hmm. and uh, we, we go with it. We're in the 21st century now. But there's a difference between presenters and pundits. I don't have a problem with Laurel mm. Woods or Alex Scott presenting sure. like Mike, Mark Chapman, just mm. linking between. But the people who are doing the punditry, people who are going to say, sure, this should have been done like this, that tackle was bad, this guy's thinking about that, that can only be people who've played at the highest level. But there's Gabby Logan and there's Kelly Cates and they've been in the game for 20 years. They've been in the yeah, women's but, game. <laughs> but, but, but they've no, been no, in the no, men's no, game. No, but, but that's, that again is presenting. They're not that's the presenting. 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 But, is it, but Alex Scott is a... She, she, was, she, she, she never played in the Premier that, League. Match of the day has always had uh, people that didn't achieve that level in football uh, until recently and have been um, commentators. It's only, really, it's only recently you've seen the pure professionalisation of the commentators. But I think ultimately the, the main point here, it should be on meritocracy, i.e. if you're good enough to comment and you've played at that level. You know, I don't, I don't particularly buy that if you've played uh, football for England as a woman, that you can't comment on the men's game, yeah. especially if you've got um, good analytical skills. What I don't like seeing nowadays is quotas for anything. But we see it across a lot of industries and you, there should be no quotas <laughs> for ethnicity mm. or, or, I agree. or male or female. I understand that's happened to make adjustments because everything has been male dominated. But now there are enough good people, and as you made this point, that it really should be that, that whoever whoever selects the panellists, it should be done. Are they yeah. good enough to be there? And Do then, they have the experience? And that's not wokery. That is just actually saying who's best for the job. And, and actually... It's purely, uh, and it's about, Am I the only one yeah. that agrees with, with, with Jerry Barton? No, you're yeah. not. I, I just, oh. I, this is ludicrous. Here's the thing. <clears throat> I'm, I'm a nominal football fan in the sense that, as a United fan, I get heart palpitations regularly, so I, don't actually, I can't actually sit there and watch them. I have to keep up with it afterwards because it's just too much for me. But I, I actively watch women's gymnastics and I love women's gymnastics. I don't want to see male... I, I don't regularly see male pundits commenting on women's gymnastics, but I also don't want to see it because they don't have the relevant experience. Women and men have different physiologies. They haven't been able to compete as a woman in that sport. So yeah. anything that they will say is not from direct experience. I'm sorry, women's football and men's football are two completely different sports. The, yeah. the, I mean, even if you watch a women's football game, it looks like, for me, I don't enjoy it because I think yeah. the pitches haven't, haven't been adjusted to the athletes, right. which I think is hypocrisy. And so some it's like watching children on the pitch. And some male pundits haven't played the game for 15 or 20 years. And they're a bit, <laughs> a bit out of touch, I, I sometimes think. Look, I think there's... Um, I think there's a general feeling amongst male football fans, and be frank, most football fans in this country are men. There's a general feeling from the male footballer supporters that 
They don't want women commentators. They don't want women in the game full stop. You look at Football Focus, which was hosted by Dan Walker for 11 years. Alex Scott took over. Numbers went from 849 average uh, viewers, 849,000, to 564,000. Yes. Men, and a lot of men are now too afraid to stand up and say, actually, I don't like having women at our games. I want it to be men talking about men's football. But I, I think, JJ, it's also about the editorial of that programme. Mm. They have properly engineered that programme uh, to go into the women's game. Yeah. And Football Focus Turn was, off. was about Bob Wilson, a raw manager, isn't it? You know, it's a completely <laughs> different philosophy. And I, I, I go onto that show and I can see why their audience has dropped. If they talked more about the men's game mm -hmm. uh, than engineering it towards the women's game, it's a proper promotion of that. Ah. Yeah. So of there you go, thing. it's back to statistics then. So it may not be because of the fact that it's women presenting, it might be just because of the fact that it is... Because they're showing women's football instead. Because they're showing the, 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 the horrible things just, that people just, don't <laughs> like. God.